Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be going over a 18 Halls of Atonement that I did as Destruction. Um, so I kind of want to go over my talents and my soul binds here really quick. So flash over reverse entropy, pretty standard. Um, during grievous weeks I like to choose dark pack just to help um, our healer during pridefuls. Um, you can kind of pop dark packs right before um, the prideful spawns. And then you like you just save your healer a ton of healing. Um, it's just a really efficient cooldown to have during some bosses and such too. Um, I use Cataclysm because I like the Cataclysm channel demon fire combo. Um, water coil, pretty standard, um, really solid healing. Pretty much use it on cooldown whenever I'm low. And um, for my talents that are 45 row, I use Roaring Blaze. Pretty good single target. Um, not much else to say about that. So for Soul Binds, I swapped up from Karain, which last week I was using, and it gave me a 10% damage bonus above en for enemies like above 70% health. Um, not sure which is better. Um, throughout the video, you'll be able to see that I was getting the haste buff from Dreamweaver, since that is now accessible um, this week. And there were times where I got a ton of value out of it, um, and there were some times where I didn't get a lot of value out of it. Um, Sims say, you know, the haste is better, obviously, since Destruction's best stat is haste. Um, but in practice, like kind of standing still for 10 seconds sometimes can be unrealistic. Um, I think I had pretty good value in it throughout the throughout the dungeon, but I'm just not sure which is uh, better yet. But I'm going to lean towards the haste buff, um, just because you're getting, you know, your cooldowns out faster. And they're recharging faster with flag and such. So, um, yeah, I just kind of want to show those really quick. And then we'll just get into the run. So here, um, always just waiting for the tank to group everything up. Pop my Cataclysm, Channel Demon Fire, Inferno. And here I'm Reign of Firing. And this is, like, kind of the perfect pack that you want to spam Rain of Fire on. Um, when everything is super stacked up and not going to move, you can see like we have Frost Nova Roots on it, we have Slows on it. I think we have Treants also from our Boomkin here. So everything is not moving. Um, perfect to stack Rain of Fires on. Um, Rain of Fire loses a lot of value when mobs are really spread out and running around. So ideally when stuff is grouped up and stunned and really tight, that's when you want to spam Rain of Fire, so that's what I do here. And then we kind of kite because Sanguine drops. Um, once the mobs are like really spread out, that's really when I start to just Chaos Bolt, the highest health target. Here, just chilling, just doing a two pack really quick. I messed up here, I should have saved my channel Demon Fire for these little guys, but. So as you can see, like the little blue circle under me, that's the uh, new Night Fae haste buff that you get from using Dreamweaver. Every time you Soul Rot, you get a haste buff, so as long as you stand in it. Finish off that small pack. Um, whenever I'm doing the bears or dogs, whatever the hell they are in this dungeon, um, I always just kind of target them, and I single target them, and then um, when the Houndmaster is around 30% health, you always want to CC it. Um, that That's because, like, the Houndmaster always casts the Enrage buff for, for the animals, and you can always CC it and just completely stop it, so it's always good to stop that. So you can see here, I popped Dark Pact, and I still have the shield on, even though... The pride had about 10 stacks, so the shield lasted for quite a bit. And you can see my health. I'm pretty healthy the whole time with only one stack of previous. It's just a really strong talent for this week. So here it was pretty annoying because these casters, we kicked them, but they didn't get pulled back in all the way. So I had to run out of my circle there, so I didn't get value out of the haste buff there. 
So for the thrash on all the suns here, you can always outrange it. I think it's 30 or 35 yards. So if you are 40 yards away, you should be able to just never take damage from it, which is what we're all trying to do here. Sometimes you'll have to move in or out depending on where the circle spawned, but in general you should be outranging it. It just saves your healer a lot of mana. So here uh, something interesting happens, and our shaman just yeets himself off the cliff. No apparent reason. That was a <laughs> pretty funny moment there. Here just two target cleaving them. Once everything's grouped up, I pop my soul rot, cataclysm, channel demon fire. And here we're just kind of outrange thrash. I always want to kick the uh, collections from these, from those mobs, because they spawn these little ads that hit the tank really, really hard, and they kind of fixate and run around all over the place. It's just like a real nightmare to deal with, so collect sins is always an ability you want to kick. So here, missed my cataclysm, I didn't realize the tank was going to move it. Once again, this is a full pug, like no discord, like full yellow, kind of like how I do my groups, so <laughs> you can see stuff will probably get more and more scuffed as we go along, but so kill the pride here. For him to grab everything grouped up, infernal, waiting for my cataclysm to come up, and then a channel demon fire, and everything just kind of melts. Unfortunately, that hound master got stuck. I am mortal coil out, out of the puddles, but this part and like any tight corridor in any dungeon with sanguine is really annoying because some mobs just get stuck like these are right now. So. It's ideal that you kill everything at the same time and everything kind of dies, but mobs have so many different uh, health pools that it's really hard to manage that sometimes. And sometimes things will stagger and then there'll be pools all over the place, but I think we did an okay job, kind of, just for the first part we kind of killed a lot of it pretty evenly. It was like the last three or four mobs that we weren't able to kill fast. Collections and then just kind of max range from here. I really like the um, Roaring Blaze talent specifically in dungeons because it gives you a lot of single target that you wouldn't otherwise have. Um, you know, normally like a lot of our damage is from Chaos Bolt when it comes to single target, but when you have Roaring Blaze talent, it makes your Immolate do more, makes your Channel Demon Fire do more, and your Conflag and your Incinerates. So you're just doing like way more damage just on your regular abilities than you would hitting Chaos Bolt. So um, I think it's a pretty good talent to take. Um, if you are going for like the big Rain of Fire AoE build, then probably not the best because you want the Rain of Chaos for the infinite infernals, but I think in general just having the single target option is pretty nice because for stuff like this, like the prides, um, my boomy and my mage didn't have cooldowns here, so I decided to pop my infernal. I was completely okay with, uh, you know, kind of using it there, and hopefully have it up for the boss as the goal. So here I'm targeting the hound master a bit, and then I'm also targeting the bears, so that way they don't just kill my tank. I'm ready to CC the hound master if it were to cast the enrage, but I think someone else did. Uh, once you interrupt them once, I don't think they cast. So here, our tank dies, I moral coil, or I havoc moral coil them away so they don't kill us. <laughs> Another slight um, thing about Dreamweaver, after you CC stuff, so any stuns, fears, whenever you moral coil, anything like that, the mobs will have like a second where they're like really slowed. Um, and it doesn't do a lot, 
but it's also just like a little bit more a utility thing to have. So here I'm just marina firing, casting my AoE. Our mage gets one shot. Heavy resin. Or just this pack uh ended up not going too great. I think the mage might have pulled aggro when he combusted. And then uh kind of died. Tanks just like leaping around, trying not to get one shot by the Gorgons. So here was something really unfortunate. Uh, the tank was kind of facing it all towards us, and we didn't realize it. And so he just slapped the hell out of me and our mage. I survived because I had a higher health pool, but our mage just got one shot, and we didn't have a B-Res. So we have to four-man this entire entire uh, boss fight, which is really uh, kind of sketch, but... We did it. You can see uh, my single target right now. I'm doing about 6k. You know, this is with lust, but we did not have prideful going into this, um, which is interesting. Normally, you have prideful for the bosses, but this tank shows a, a different route, which is, you know, okay. I think he wanted it more for the second boss, and then we can lust on this one. Was the idea? Regardless, it worked out. Um, but yeah, Roaring Blaze definitely gives you a lot of single target that you otherwise wouldn't have if you were like the full AOE build. And I mean, that fight would have taken well, a minute or two longer probably if I was a different talent setup than that. So here we are actually invising through, not pulling anything in the courtyard, and we're just gonna pull one of the slashers, get our pride buff, and then do the boss. I'm going to continue testing around with uh, Dreamweaver versus Karain in Mythic Plus, but um, I think that Dreamweaver might be the play, just based on the haste every haste buff every one minute. You know, it's like a little mini bull lust. So it's a lot of damage that you can get out in a pretty fast amount of time doing that. Here I pop my Dark back once again with the Pride. Another thing with Pride is, uh, or another thing with Grievous and Prideful is, um, make sure you're, you remind your group to constantly just Heldstone when they're like 70% health, just Heldstone and, uh, keep yourself like high so that way, you know, your healer isn't struggling and that way you're being more proactive so it makes it a uh, much easier to heal. So here we missed actually the uh, first stun on the little ad, so we got a full second wave, I think. Um, so here I wait for my Cataclysm to come up, wait for everything to stack, and just AoE everything down. I got the leap here, I think I missed one mob, but it didn't matter, the boss is pretty much dead, so... I think here things get a little bit sketchy because the sanguine and like the mobs are taking forever to come out of the room. So I waited till everything was pretty grouped up and then popped all my cooldowns. Once again, I'm always targeting the uh, the hound masters till they get low and then I CC them. So I feared and coiled that one so that way they wouldn't cast the enrage. And then I always swap to the dogs or the bears, whatever they are. I'm always like havocing uh, the bears and then just single targeting the other one. So here we're waiting for our tank to pull out everything. Just waiting for everything to get grouped. I stunned it at the start and then up my uh, Soul Rock, Cataclysm, Channel Demon Fire, as usual. Um, I think, yeah, Kluxons got off here because we had no kicks, so a couple of the ads spawned, which is fine. We killed them off. Um, this was uh, pretty yikes. Our healer went ahead of our tank. 
they just kind of get melee to death by the uh, Stoneborn trying to capture him. Um, so here, since I knew our healer was going to take the uh, second Stoneborn once he had, uh, once his other one kind of went away, I Havoc for uh, extra conflags and extra shards and stuff. I'm kind of just cleaving. Use it for uh, extra sources. Other than that, this is a pretty easy fight. Didn't have any uh, like prideful or lust or anything for this fight. It's a pretty easy one. Don't ever really need anything. The next room is kind of sketch. Uh, we can't. We needed to pull big because our timer was running pretty low. You can see we got about five minutes left, and we have to do this boss, and then the last boss, and then this room can always take a while. So here I'm just targeting the souls in the back here while everyone. This is AoE padding everything. <laughs> I'm just uh, focusing the ones that are kind of left behind. I think that's pretty sketch here. I got targeted by a couple of the mobs, so I just uh, pop my unending resolve and health stone. Try to keep us up. And then. Finally clear everything. Doing 5k DPS while our boomies just start falling the entire room, you know? Just uh, warlock things. But it's always really important when in this room to not target the manifestations, really. The things that matter is the tormented souls because the boss heals off of that. Or the mini boss will heal off of that. So you want to break out the manifestations. You want to do as much damage as you can to them. Um, and kind of ignore the manifestations a little bit. Passively leave them down, don't uh, target them. It's kind of what I was doing there. Um, here, I pop my Dark Pact again. It saves so much health. As you can see, it just came off now at 14 stacks of uh, the Pride buff. So. Boomy went down here. We're super tight on time. I B-res them, and we just go. Um, pop my Pot, Infernal, everything. We're just kind of racing the time here. We got about a minute and a half. So we barely timed this. It was uh, it was really close. I think our boomy actually goes down here too, or someone goes down. Oh, it's actually me. <laughs> I got my pod. So that was a time where, if I would have died there, we might have actually wiped. So being Dreamweaver really just uh, kind of saved the key in that sense. Um, yeah, we ended up chesting this barely at like 19 seconds. I was looking at my damage breakdown because I got um, the new trinket, not a new trinket, but I got the, uh, what is it called? Satchel of Misbegotten Minions. And that's what you can see, that Obama blast. And I was just kind of seeing what it did. Didn't really seem too great. Might go back to uh, using the badge and uh, the haste trinket, but um, yeah. As you can see, my breakdown was pretty much... Chaos Bolt and all the single target stuff. Immolate Channel Demon Fire. Incinerate was all pretty even. Um, but yeah. Um, Dreamweaver, if you hit 34 or down, try it out in the keys this week. It seems to be pretty strong, just giving you a haste buff every one minute. You know, it gives you 12% haste. So that's quite a bit when we're only at like 20, 22% or whatever it may be right now. So yeah, let me know, guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comments, um, what you want to see next. If you enjoy me playing Destruction as Keys, would you rather me going back to Affliction? Um, I'm always reading comments and responding, so yeah, let me know.